I'm Mrs. Sim Gamer. And I'm Farmer Sim. And welcome back to our multiplayer co-op series here on Court Farms. How are you doing, Farmer Sim? I'm, a, I'm good, thank you, love. How are you? You all right? I am great, my friend. A tractor is just about to go behind your head. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's horseplay, because look at this. We're stood here doing absolutely nothing. <gasps> and we can just sit here and judge, can't we? I'm judging right of the, now. Uh, yeah, the quality of the seeding, or not the seeding, but the quality of the turning round. I'm now not go. the worst farmer on the farm. You never were. <laughs> Don't be silly. <laughs> These ones are sometimes. They drive into a wall and a fence and just sit there and wait for instruction. What do I do? There's a wall in front of me. Turn around, stupid. You're like, uh... they're, Yeah, they're figuring it out, thankfully. So, uh, But yeah, this, this is the... Technically, it's the second field we've run on course play, isn't it? Yeah, so we far. ran this one on course play, didn't we? And then we I did. seeded the first one. Absolutely. So now we have three fields of wheat, albeit very, relatively small ones, but they're uh, it's still going to add to the income come harvest time, isn't it? It's still going to add to the total of uh, grain that we have to uh, to pop into our production systems or our silos or send off for money, whatever. Um, it's Absolutely. better to do that than have just empty grass fields, isn't it? Absolutely. And you can yeah. see we're still wearing the same outfits because we are recording this straight after our last episode. So yes. what has been a week for you has been less than half Minutes. an hour for us. Yes, it certainly has. Yeah, we're, uh, we're getting ahead of ourselves here just to uh, get a few episodes in the bank because they obviously it's a good, t they do take us, a, well, an hour pretty much, don't they? <laughs> they do um, indeed. Yes. So but what this are we means doing today, buddy? We are, I believe, if I bring up the heads-up display, we have taken on a grass contract, a silage contract, which thankfully is uh, very local to us. It's uh, field 107, which is directly behind our bakery. Um, yeah, and it's a, it's a silage bale contract, so we're going to, I think we're going to double team that, aren't we, mate? We're going to jump in some machinery. We're going to get the get mowing, rowing, baling, and bale picker uppering and uh, sending over to the sell point which is the farmer's market i think yeah well we picked um, up the cows by the looks of it we did what oh we yes oh sorry yes yeah. yes yes i think that's right let me just pop into the yeah, pda that's where we drove. is that all the way up that's the one yeah farmer's market there we are farmer's market bales we'll make sure we'll use the fastest tractor which i think is yours yes which is busy at the minute <laughs> it is. It is. Yes, but, but we, we won't can, be we can... him up for a little while, so no, we won't. So we, 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 we need. Our stuff? Let's go do it, mate. Yep, let's go see what we need. We've got, um, I think, the biggest tractor that we have spare at the minute is your Mine. your class. So um, we need to put the the mower and the rower onto that and run that, so we can we can mow and row at the same time and. Uh, then one of us can follow behind with the baler and wrapper in one and and then we can uh, pick up and uh, I'll tell you what what actually might work well and I, I don't mind doing all the running back and two if you like but if we do the mowing we get this field job done yeah. and get all the bales bailed up one of us can then do the driving back and two to the sell point which I don't mind doing and the other one of us can do the rolling in the field yeah. Well, that one, if, assuming the time oh, I'm plays out. Either, buddy. Okay, okay, lovely stuff. Well, uh, so do you, are you are you happy picking up the you run the mower and the uh, and the rower? Yeah, absolutely. And I will jump in the. I think it's going to have to be that this. I'll, I'll jump in the little massy here actually. Um, pick up the baler. Going to remove a few bits and bobs off my screen there. Don't need that. Don't need that. I don't actually need auto drive. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to manoeuvre the wind at the same time. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's a bit of a. Where's our baler? It's round by the lime spreader. So it is. So it is. I knew that honestly. <laughs> um, yeah. So, how are you, mate? It's been a long time. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would pretend that lots has happened since the last time I spoke to you, but uh, apart from going to get a drink from the fridge, that's all that's happened, my friend. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know, I know. It's uh, oh, this looks about the right side. Yeah, this will be fine, I'm sure. Um, I'm just I this shall. Clean off, 
is so dirty. I cannot. Cope. What is the? The hello. The. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Um, Can't have I shall go and get the uh, field gate open. Oh, it's literally right in front of our. Oh, it's not even going to be difficult. It's directly in front of our uh, of our farmyard entrance. That's amazing. Yeah, it is pretty cool. There we go. Gate open. I shall get this across the road. There we go. Park this just there out the way for now. There we go. Right. Quite a big field this one, mate. It is. It's going to keep us busy. Yes, it certainly will. It, 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 well, it won't take too long thinking about it because it's, it's, it's a reasonably wide mower. Um, and the, 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 that mower and rower combination do uh, work pretty well. Oh, check you out. How organised are you bringing the, bringing the rower out up front? It would yeah. have been really good if I didn't just drive into the mower. <laughs> I actually really skillfully manoeuvred around this yard then. And then just flattened and the mower. And then just flattened the mower. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> so, the reward is quite high for this job, isn't it? It is. The I think it's just north of £16,000 that will be paid in total. Plus, we will get, a, hopefully, a pretty decent amount of money uh, from... From the residual bales, yes, which um, which is awesome. We love a bit of residual baleage. <laughs> so residual baleage, I love it. Residual baleage, yeah. I must admit, I've, I've done this. I've, I've done this field many times. Have you? Yes, many, many times. Any tips? Uh, get the green stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That's about as accurate as I can be. Um, no, it's it's. I've always done it on using course play and making cinematics. So um, technically, I've not actually manually done it as we are today. But it's a good bit of a good bit of content, I'd hope. Watching us both muck about. I'm literally going to run behind you. Um, there you go. Turn that on. Turn that on. Turn that on. I'm only going nine miles an hour just to give you a heads up. No, that's cool. Well, I'm running at 10 or 11, I think it is. So, um, plus I have to I have to stop intermittently to uh, unload the bale and all that. So, it's all good. I think that's the first yeah. time we're using the wrapper. Is it? Oh, yes, yeah. it is, isn't it? Goodness me. Yeah, that's right. First time for everything. First time for everything. We've we used it for baling the hay, but not wrapping. No, that's right. We are our first wrapped silage bale. Um, Only took nine episodes. <laughs> yeah, this is episode nine, isn't it? I know. Episode I'm sorry, nine. where's the time going? Well, it flies when you're having fun, doesn't it, mate? That's this what you can say. True. Yeah, goodness me, we're at 100%. Wow. Of course. Um, yeah, I'll tell you what, you're right, this is a great combination. The mower and the rower. Yeah. Yeah, it works well. There's, there's not a huge difference in their in their widths, so they they, 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 they they do work very well together. George's pond, everyone there. There it is. Um, yeah, it's a good good combo of tools. That I think the the mower is is it the I think the mower is slightly wider than the rower. Or am I am I getting them the wrong way around? I can't remember. Probably. Story of my life, that, mate. Oh, goodness <laughs> me, what have we done here? There we go. Oh, it's Let's good the it. rower is, own, is, is bigger because it's just, it manoeuvres much better like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, I'm just controlling. This is, it's nice and chilled. It is, mate. A bit of mowing. Earn some money from it. I suppose what this will do this entire job will pay for the the bale loader that we bought in the last episode. Or the, bit, the one I bought off camera at the beginning of last episode, 18 and a half grand. So uh, technically, we'll just be we'll, we we will be in pocket, as it were, because the the value that we'll get from the residual bales, I think, could be 
it could be quite good to be honest the amount of money we'll get so well I'm trying to cut as close to the edge as possible where it lets me I am going right to the edge no problems mate no no problem at all that's awesome stuff awesome stuff it's a beast it's a beast I expect the next episode we'll be going into November won't we we've done two or three episodes now in October yeah we have haven't we yeah yeah I think we will be yeah I think it'll be about time that we uh we jump forward at least a month or so. Um, I'm trying to think what there will be for us to do in that episode. We'll, um... Well, apart from feeding cattle and feeding our animals, we're probably going to be in that position where we need to skip a few months. Yeah. Otherwise, we're well, doing bailing contracts. I was going to say, yeah, that would be the only other option, wouldn't it? Just be to take on a few contracts to earn a couple of quid to pay for Christmas. <laughs> oh, what's on your Christmas me. list this year, Farmer Sim? What's on my Christmas? Do you know what I want for Christmas? What I well, it's, it's it's not necessarily what I want, but I think it's what I need. I need some form of video camera for Lamu. Um, assuming that I'm going to, I'd very much like to uh, go to Lamu in January and be able to make some form of vlog. Um, showing everyone the wonderful stuff that we'll get to see and the wonderful people we'll get to meet um, I'm very excited to, to make an actual real video this time of actual real human beings and real things um, at, uh, at the show so um, but yeah I don't really want to use my uh, my iPhone camera because my iPhone's absolute horse crap um, I need a I need a half decent camera um, so yeah, something like a, one of those little like 4K GoPro things, perhaps that would be. Mm, Lou's uh, got a 4K GoPro, and actually, oh, I've been speaking to Lou. Mm -hmm. She might come as well. Oh, brilliant! There you go. Um, you come up, you come up together in your car, will you? We'll come up together because. Oh, there you go. Um, I am trying to get John Deere to partner with me on a couple of things for my website. Oh, mate. My work Brilliant. website. Brilliant. Yeah. Because I, I, every single year in March, I do, I focus on women in water, women in climate, and women, and this year will be women in agriculture. And what um, better place to have a look at that at than a gigantic agricultural show? I know. And mate. Uh, John Deere are actually sponsoring International Women's Day. The international okay. one, which is in March. In March, yeah. it's always March the 8th. And I okay. always host a webinar on that day and have hundreds, sometimes thousands of people. And I awesome. just host and moderate and people can watch. Okay, um, wow. And this year, I might try and do something with them. So, you really are a marketing guru, aren't you? That's incredible. That's a really good thing to do. That's a, that sounds really cool. So that's going to be my goal anyway. Yeah. And as that's far as um, so I was speaking to someone super interesting this morning. Okay. Her name's Gabby, and she's it's hard to describe her. Really. She's a guru guru. Um, a guru guru. She's really. Uh, she works with an investment firm in London who focus on all things ESG. So that's the sustainability goals that the UN have set out. Okay. Um, and that's what my business model is all focused on. Yeah. And yeah. she has... Um, she's got contacts in... Companies which are working heavily in air pollution, right, and also in agriculture, right. and one of them is all focused on sustainable leather for fashion. Okay. So, right. Of course, we all know. A byproduct of cattle farming is leather, uh -huh. and this organisation actually has a whole business model around 
sustainable farming for okay. sustainable leather. So we're going, wow. and it's all run by a woman. This business. Okay. So I'm going to get her in for an interview. Right. But also, there's this lady. Um, her name escapes me. It's on my computer, but I'm rowing now. <laughs> Yeah. Quite high up in the fashion industry in the UK. Oh wow! And she's just got a contract with some of the major um, supermarkets here in the UK. So right. Tesco, Sainsbury's, yeah, all of those clothing. Wow! Yeah. And again, she's doing a lot for sustainability in the agricultural world. So awesome. it's quite interesting what's going on at the moment. It's not just about the if you think about that, Llama is a agriculture technology show. Yeah, yeah. Technology is a huge. I'm actually going to cut straight down here. I'm a bit stupid, but I'm going to do a straight line. Yeah. Um, technology is huge. Smart irrigation to to reduce the amount of water that's being used, through to what chemicals are being used in the soil. You name it. I've got a contact. It's yeah, yeah. super duper interesting, um, but it's also all of the the byproducts, the food and beverage industry, the fa- fashion industry, the hospitality industry. Yeah. What they're doing with the retail industry, what they're doing with the products from agriculture, which is also really really fascinating. So, wow. And also upscaling, um, recycling to circular economy. Yeah. So there's. Uh, a lady that's written a book about um, the circular economy yeah. for the farming industry. Okay. So once something's once something's been produced, how how is it being used? Yeah. Is it being recycled? Is it being upcycled? And apparently, Doc Martens now. Um, I'm assuming you know Doc Martens are. Um, they are now having a repair service. Uh, yeah. Sorry, I'm just lining myself up. Yeah. yeah, so they have a repair service now. So instead of throwing your docks away, you send yeah. them off to be fixed. And it's all a, part, wow. a big part of their sustainability goals of fixing what you already have rather than going and buying something else and using oh, more leather. That's awesome, because that's what I spend my bloody life doing, is fixing things. I wish that that was a much more common part of life in that respect. Well, in doing that, you are contributing. Whether you know it or not, you are contributing to the sector economy. Well, that's nice to know. <laughs> it's amazing. It's mainly my problem is it's mainly just because I can't afford to generally replace the thing that I'm trying to fix but to, to know that technically it's actually a better thing to do to try and revive and bring life back to something that might not be too far gone but has just broken you know Precisely. fix it instead of fix and, fix and reuse instead of throwing it away and throwing a load of money at it and, it's yeah. hugely important which yeah. A lot of people, there's a lot of, I, I don't really deal with consumer based marketing. I, I focus on all business to business marketing. Uh-huh. Um, but I know there's a lot of big, big companies, and Doc Martin being one of them, which yeah. are championing fixing. So you buy, buy repair rather than buy replace. So that is awesome. I'll be honest, that is really cool. I know that Doc, Doc Martins, I, I don't actually own a pair of Doc Martins. Mm-hmm. I used to many years ago, but they are quite expensive now. I'm sure they're around 200 yeah. quid for a Very. pair of boots, but they are well made. I tell you what, I wish Caterpillar did that, because I've got multiple pairs of Caterpillar boots, some of them far worse states than others. Yeah, um, well, these companies will now be put, being put under pressure to do something. Yeah, 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 that Which makes perfect sense. Which is a good thing. I know it's not it terrible, is. but it is a really, really good thing. No, it is. It's, it's, yeah, it doesn't sound terrible. So it's a really good idea. It's, it makes perfect sense. If, like, like, well, I suppose just thinking about it, a, a pair of shoes in particular, if, if the soles came off your pair, your shoes, I mean, yes, 
there's still cobblers still exist. There's one in our local town. There's a, you know, a, a shoe repairman. Yeah. Someone who can, but generally as a rule, if you took a pair of shoes to that cobbler and said, my soles come off, can you stick me a new one? You get the generic, a generic sole that doesn't necessarily match the one that was on the original piece of footwear in the first place. Um, so if you were to be able to take, if you were able to take your your Dr. Martens or your Caterpillar boots or whatever to the place that made them, and they were able to replace with a genuine replacement thing, in my mind, that's just as cool because you know, Incredibly you get a, a genuine Caterpillar or Dr. Martens. Because well, Dr. Martens especially, they was it Airwear? That's what they were called back in my day. They, and the the sole of the of that of the Dr. Martin boots was kind of like a uh, it wasn't see-through, but it kind of had a bit of a what's the word? Not transparent, but it was like a brown translucent. Thank you, mate. Yeah, it was kind of like a translucent brown, wasn't it? And they had to, they were they were marketed as airwear. It had a little tag on the back of them that said that said airwear on. Yeah, the I mean they they were and are still quite premium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. And they were premium before, like other big organisations like Jimmy Choo and all yeah. of those come along and just stole a complete market. That's it, that's it, yeah. They were always um, they were always premium dot mines where everyone yeah. always wanted dot mines. So yeah, that's my fun fact for today, everybody. Well, it sounds like you're going to be uh, you're going to be, oh, I'll do it again. Um, you're going to be pretty busy at Lama then, aren't you? It's not just going to be a necessarily a 100% social I can do what I want thing. You're gonna, you're gonna have people to go and talk to and see, aren't you? Yeah, so I've done, I'll probably end up going for two days. Um, yeah. And the day when you're there, I'll be fully Mrs. SG, and the other day I'll be Abby from working. CGN. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, no, mate, that sounds really cool. I'm, I'm, I am really looking forward to it. I must admit, it's, my, it's going to be my first, my first time ever going to anything like this, especially as well, farmer sin, I suppose. You know, it's, I, it's, I've not really given it much thought in that respect. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to be. I've never introduced it is. myself to anyone. No, as I know as I am. Apart from for a microphone. <laughs> so. Yeah, I know. It's really weird. It's like you know, I'm, I'm even obviously the thought of it's going around my mind. And at the minute, I'm like, at the minute, I look like a bear's ass. I haven't had a shirt. I've got a massive beard. <laughs> um, I mean, I mean, I'm in full winter mode. So I'm like, oh, I you know, believe it. I need to present myself well, so I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to have a wash. Um, I need and to get everything. rid of my double chin. Thank you, Pat. <laughs> oh, I admit, I I need to get some exercise and done. But my 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 life is so sedentary. You spend well, you you work from home, and your entire work life surrounds sitting at a computer, doesn't it? Essentially, or on the telephone or something. It's you know, it's. I'm on even when I barely make phone calls anymore. It's all through Zoom. Well, there you go. So you sat at your computer. Mm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And thankfully, my new I've got a 4K, which I was a bit devastated about. I don't want to be seen in 4K. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a 4K um, camera on this monitor. Oh, I've, oh, right, okay. But thankfully, it's up high. So it's yeah. at the top, so it's okay. like the perfect angle. <laughs> so when I start doing YouTube lives, because I'm seriously considering starting to do at least do one a month. Really? Um, oh yeah, I like I've got street. the internet now, so I've not actually got an excuse anymore. Yeah, there is that. Yeah, you do have your super turbo internet. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that was the one thing that was holding me back. And yeah. I, I did. Um, a live Twitch, and I had a great time, but my internet was so shoddy. Right. It was did just it affect, buffer did it, did it affect the performance of the video? It, it affected everything. It just looked terrible. Um, right. So did you have like? Did you have it less than 1080p? Was it that bad? It was that bad. Oh, mate. Yeah. Yeah. yeah right, my internet just. No, shows right, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> it was like. Uh, what are you doing to me? Yeah, not doing that. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Well, I think that's at the minute that's 
one of my limitations. Um, I, I'd very much like to start doing live streams at some point. I've got. To, I still feel I need to muster up the courage because there's something there's something inherently different in live streams. Um, there is. Yeah, I've but I've moderated webinars with people watching me live. Yeah, yeah. And I have to sound intelligent on those. Whereas here, yeah. I don't really need to sound intelligent. <laughs> Just drive around in circles. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like a teddy oh, bear. Right. <laughs> One step. Like teddy bear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah, it's, that's, it's something I've, I need to look into. I suppose if I'm going to do that kind of thing, I need uh, I just suppose I need a webcam. I, I don't have a webcam. I don't have a, my, my monitors. I've got, I mean, I'm surrounded by bloody monitors, but not one of them has a built-in webcam. Um, so I'd have to get something that does webcam stuff, I guess. A webcam. Um, What's interesting... Okay. I'm actually intrigued to know how important that is. You know what, I haven't even thought about that aspect. To do a live stream, you don't have to have a camera. No. I mean, I, 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 my mind just goes straight to the only experience I know of, of live streaming, especially with Farming Simulator, is the only one I've really watched is, is the one and the only FSG. Yeah. Um, I don't really... Those are the only live streams I've really watched. Um, and they all have yeah I, I just think it's it's nice to build a bit of a rapport with the viewers the viewers yeah you guys no, absolutely watching us. absolutely um, I need to get my Mandalorian posters up I still haven't done that have you got some Mandalorian posters yeah I've got that one which I showed you Didn't oh yeah you yeah, yeah 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 you did yeah 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 I've got another one on my order Oh, you see, that's another problem. My office is if I got a webcam. Your office is beautiful, as far as I'm concerned. The way it's a it's a tidy, it's a lovely desk area, and I'm sure whatever's behind it is relatively organised as well. I'm in the. My office is a dump here. It's the. I mean, behind. Man, no, no, let me just stop what I'm doing. No one will, No one on this channel would care. Well, no, but I care because it's a pile of crap I've got a, <laughs> directly behind me I've got an eight foot mirror in the corner of the room it's about eight foot by four foot sorry I've just bashed into the microphone sorry about that I've got a rack of guitars in the corner I've got a map of the world it's about ten years old there's more boxes than you can show the stick um, half a sofa I've got a modular sofa that's in fact it's sat there um, <laughs> honestly it's, yeah I've got a massive stack Sony stereo system 5.1 surround sound amplifier stereo receiver there. A big bag of clothes, a big box of crap, which I don't know what's in there. Another box of crap. And th yeah, there's just stuff behind me. In front of me, it looks lovely. You know, I've got my man, this is my little man corner for making videos. So I'm surrounded by monitors and little model cars and obviously tech, my microphone, and that. yeah, speakers and all that kind of, a couple of Lego models. I've got my, my 118th scale Dukes of Hazard sat in front of me. So that's all cool, but then I turn around and it's like, oh. Do you know what it is? It's my actual area of sin. Yeah, it's your real life area of <laughs> it's sin. A, yeah, 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 yeah. I've, I've uh, taken, uh, well, uh, to be fair, I think that this happened before Purbeck, so I, I, have the, I have the original area of sin. Um, but yeah, oh shit, what am I doing? Pardon me, Yeah, sorry. I have a sofa and some art, but not very fancy art on the wall. Okay. And then to my right I've got T V. Mm, not much else is going on in this room. Yeah, I've got so well, yeah, the sofa which is where the dogs sleep. Well, yours sounds far more presentable than where I am at the moment. A blur? A background on? A blur. That's a blur. A blur blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so sometimes when I'm on I'm on Zoom I will A put a filter on. If I can't be bothered to do my makeup, I'll put a filter on make it look like I put makeup on. It's amazing. <laughs> I don't think you can do that on YouTube. Um, I don't think you could do that on me, let alone YouTube. <laughs> yeah, Good God. It was amazing. I really? do it pretty much every day because I I can't I can't always when I'm at home I don't want a full face of makeup on. 
Yeah. So when I'm on the zoom, I'll just put add a filter on, just a little bit of light makeup. Makes you look good. No way, that's really cool. It just makes me look a bit more presentable. <laughs> There is nothing in this world, no amount of digital buggery could make me look presentable on a computer. I'll tell you that for now. <laughs> it's all about the lighting, darling. The lighting the filters. Yeah, turn them off. That's how you do it. <laughs> yeah, that's how you do it. <laughs> yeah. Um, turn them off. Yeah, that's, um, uh, goodness me, brilliant. But yeah, that's, that's how I get away with it on a daily basis. And then nice. I panic when somebody wants to go on Google Meet or... Microsoft Teams. I'm like, oh, I don't have filters yeah. on there. I don't have my <laughs> filter set up. I'm going to have to Quick. actually go put makeup on. Grab the balaclava. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah. Nice. Oh, I've done it again. I'm doing this more often now. I keep missing the 100% threshold and driving over the. Uh... I'm distracting you. Oh, what's happened to that? The bale's gone funny. It's wrapping a bale that's not quite in the bale wrapping position. Oh. It's all hard. Oh, that's not good, is it? Oh dear. Oh, there we go. I think we had a bit of server lag then with our baler. Not very strange. <clears throat> yeah, I think it was a visual thing perhaps at my end, but... Uh, yeah. How are you finding the, uh, the mowing and rowing, mate? It is quite a relaxing thing, isn't it? It's all been one of my favourite things today. Yeah. I must admit, running around with the baler as well is just quite a chilled out task, I've got to say. It is, isn't just it? following the nice neat rows. Yeah, I'm trying to keep it as neat as possible. You're doing a very good job, mate. A very good job, it's in fact. It's a couple of puffs of grass, but I'm not going to Oh, no. No, we should be fine. I think we are... Uh, <coughs> excuse me, but I think we should... Make a decent amount of money from this, I hope. I can't. I've not actually counted. In fact, where are we there? Bring up that. Don't Is that not. Yeah, that one doesn't have a bail counter, annoyingly. No, it doesn't. I just noticed that. That's a bit annoying. I'll tell you mm. what we can do. We can. Oh, but we don't have a statistics either, do we, on the no. player? Mm. Oh, for goodness mm. sakes. So I've got to count them by hand on my own in order to establish how many bales we've made. Oh, it is. I'll just wait till the end to see how much money we make. <coughs> yeah, good thinking. Well, that's this isn't take. Well, we're almost done this. I know we've got there's, there's, there's quite a few back and two trips to do uh, to the sell point, which uh, I don't mind doing if you're all right. Um, cracking on with the rolling in those fields, if you like. Oh, I'm I'm happy to do whatever's needed. No worries, mate. No worries. Well. Um, in fact, while I'm here, just very quickly, I'm just going to jump ship over to the Massey. I'm just going to very... I'm over in the Massey now, just very quickly. It, it does seem to have finished the seeding job. Um, but as usual, it has missed a couple of tiny spots around the headlands. So I'm just going to get these patches quickly drilled. I'll be back with you in hopefully about 30 seconds time. But yeah, all the fields are ready to be rolled now, mate. And, um, so nice. I will happily uh, happily do the bale pickering uppering with our newfound bale loader. I love um, that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Eight at a time. Just It'll do. It's a really nice set. Yes, it is. It is. It's the perfect size for this map. It really is. You don't want <laughs> really awesome. long. I was spending time just looking at the setup and doing completely make the right old mess. <laughs> you were looking somewhere, it's like driving and texting on your phone or something, you're like looking at something else and then you just drove into a wall. Yeah, I don't advise that. No. Very, very illegal. No, no. I was just thinking about the, the uh, <laughs> you were doing that you were doing a similar thing. I was, very much. Looking at something else, right. Um, Okay, so that's uh, he's now out of the field, so I'm just going to park and that's up there. There we go. Good to, right. Back with you in the field. Amazing. Oh, no, there we go. Still haven't decided what I'm having for my tea tonight either. Mm. 
definitely going to be some form of takeaway. Life's, life's too short not to have a Friday takeaway. I know, yeah, Friday night dinner, I'm considering... I am strongly swaying towards the Chinese. No. Yummy. Yummy. I am. Is everyone else in the house as well? Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Um, yeah, Cook Claire, Mrs. Farmer Sim, doesn't do a huge amount of Chinese food, but she does like a... She likes a ham foo young... Um, with an egg fried or an, or an egg fried rice, but uh, I will eat anything off a Chinese menu mm. or everything. I can't oh. just egg fried rice on its own is just not enough. Oh goodness, no! Egg it's fried not even rice, a meal. noodles. It has to be covered with something. Yes, like beef satay or uh, sweet and sour chicken. Salt and pepper chicken, or oh, there's so many things. Really and, I know I'm making this, I'm doing myself no favours here because it's now 10 to 4 in the afternoon. I'm ravenous. Um, not long now, though. We are uh, being very well behaved and getting two done. What videos? That's three recordings this week. Yes, mate, it is. We've been uh, we've been hard at it this week. Not only have we done three of three three hours of our uh, series, um, but yeah, every day's a recording for us, isn't it? We're, we're always working on something, aren't we, individually? We are. Yeah, I've uh, tomorrow. I've got to work on Monday's court farms, and then as soon as that's done, I need to work on episode two of my auto drive tutorial. Um, it's really nerve-wracking doing a tutorial. I feel like I've got imposter syndrome. It's, yeah, it's weird, isn't it? It, it? it definitely is for me, having never really done a tutorial before. And, I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I you know, when I, I don't, mean, I don't, in any circumstance, mean to sound in any way arrogant. But I know what I'm doing with auto drive and course play. I've used them for a long time. But putting that, translating that into a video where I sound like I'm A, know what I'm talking about and B, have the, I don't know what the terminology is, but the the right to make a tutorial about it, do you know what I mean? It's, oh that pales to the same thing again. Um, yeah, it's just a weird thing for me, still. I haven't yeah. done enough of them to find the comfort zone. Well, oh look at that. Oof. Oh sorry, go on. I was just going to say, I've done a lot of um, tutorials and I've just done a yeah. load for City Skylines too. Yeah, yeah. And people need it. It's You're, you're actually providing a service. Yes, yes. Well, well I mean, this... Weirdness. Yeah. No, you're right. I think, yeah, you are. I, I, I fully appreciate And this, this essentially, from my side of things anyway, this was spurred on by you. It, you. You know, you were advising me. Look, you know, tutorials are a really good thing, and it's like, yeah, I need to, I need to take a bite out of that pie, as it were. Because so far, really, all I've done is let's plays and role plays. You know, yeah. I've never really done anything else, and um, I have always, I've had a, a ooh, bit of lag there. Um, I have had a few people ask. Um, if I could do a like an auto drive or a course play tutorial, and I thought, do you know what? It's about time I did it. But um, yeah, it's like the to, for me, I'm still feeling the. Do you remember back in back in the days when you first started doing YouTube and you were first making recordings and putting your voice on? Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? It's not normal for the first. It's no, it's not, it, and especially hearing your own voice when you listen back to a recording or you you know you're trying to trying to uh, uh, carry yourself in, a, in a, 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 a decent way, a reasonable way. It's a very strange thing at, f at first. I'm, I'm now, I feel quite confident with it now, you know, switching the recording on, switching the microphone on and just babbling nonsense as you play the game. It's, it comes with time, yeah. you know, and you get more and more comfortable doing it. But the tutorial thing, that's different. It's a whole game, you really have to concentrate. Yeah. The number of takes 
that I did or I have done on my course play and I've only I did three I've done three course play ones yeah. and I've done one auto drive one so far as as regarding the actual physicalness should we say about make physically making the video it's a million percent easier than doing a let's play with a load of cinematics in because it's just recording a clip a set handful of clips and then stitching them all together in your editing software but doing it to make it sound like I should be doing it and that people aren't going to go this idiot doesn't know what you're talking about I'm not watching <laughs> this. you know what I mean um, I know oh hello exactly what you mean. you've got the you, 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 I want to give it a the, go I want to yeah, try yeah go for it mate try rock and roll time. well seeing as though you're in it you, you're, you're now I suppose you may as well do it I'll go do the field rolling when I've done this well I don't mind either way I just I go. just got so excited I just wanted to see it yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a handy little thing. It's really cool. Um, and it's not cheating. No, it's not. That's the th yeah, that's the thing. It's um, yeah, it's not cheating. No auto load, <coughs> um, and it's dead easy, and it, and it stacks them nice and neat. You've used one of those some things before, haven't you? Where yeah. they just they just tip up behind you. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's awesome. Way cool. So. Uh, yeah, you've um, you've lumbered yourself with the uh, the job of back and toing now, mate. <laughs> no worries, I can do that. And to be fair, you you uh, I've always said this, haven't I? For a few episodes, you you need a bit of map driving experience to go and see a few of the the different yeah, areas the of the map. A few of the sites, yes. Um, I'm actually thinking if I can take a little shortcut this way through this dude's farm. Uh. Um, through that field. Yeah, there's a track here. Oh yes, you can. Yeah, oh yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. Yeah, if you turn left and go out of there. Yeah, and then and then turn right at the grain mill still. Yeah. And head down that way. Yeah. yeah I'm gonna do that. Good thinking, George Batman. George's farm. George's farm. Yeah, that's you know what well, that's another thing. I I've got, I think I'm I've got probably. 30 episodes maybe of caught of farmhand to catch up on I just don't get the chance to watch YouTube stuff anymore well his st the farmhand is the one which I yeah. will watch religiously yeah. Um, yeah. but I just everything else even FSGs and ARGSEs I've just fallen so far behind yeah yeah I'm the same mate I'm the same so every time obviously I don't, I don't want to um Submit to Mrs. Farmer Sim to too much farm sim stuff when I'm downstairs. Generally, as a rule, I might I might watch a few car stuff on the, on the downstairs if uh, if Mrs. Farmer Sim's busy doing something else. But most of the time, we'll be we'll try and watch a TV show together or that kind of thing. So, um, but yeah, I've got I've got so much content to catch up on. I just never get the chance. As soon as I come to the computer to do stuff, it's like no. If I'm at the computer, I've got to be. You know, I need to be. Making making some videos, yeah, because I because they take me so long to make, I can't. I don't have the time to just go. Nah, I'll do it tomorrow. It's like no, come tomorrow, or you know, I'm going to be, you know, pushing my luck kind of thing. You know, I'm, I'm, time management is is relatively important. It is. It is, yes. especially with um, these videos. Mm. Just yeah. trying to get ahead. You're always chasing your tail. I know. Yeah. I mean, funnily enough, I was thinking about that before, actually, that there have been, throughout my relatively short YouTubery career so far, I have had one or two, maybe three occasions, where I was ahead of myself. At one point, I think I was a week ahead of myself, and it was amazing. And Whoa. But before you know it, it just takes a couple of days of something to go wrong, or something to keep you busy, and before you know it, you're no longer ahead. It's like you get yourself a week ahead of, of your video schedule and you think brilliant that's me if I can carry on this now I'm always going to be a week ahead no it takes one problem with the car to go and have to spend an afternoon fixing something or doing this or doing that or whatever and before you know it it's like oh crap you know I've got a it's, 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 it's Wednesday else. and I have, I've not got Friday's video made up yet and it's like oh god I was ahead a week ago no I'm not oh, it's crazy it, 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 life takes over doesn't it it does, it does. Farms market it, bales. We're not going to have this same problem, are we? As 
the cotton as what? bales. No, because well, I hope not. I really hope not. I'd like to. Th I suppose. Do you know what to do? What we can. Do you know what to do first? Before. Have you got there yet? Yeah. Right. Unload the bales. Apologies, viewers. This might just be a case of using super thick here, just to make sure that there isn't any problems with it. Unload the bales off the cell point and just manual handle one bale onto the cell point. Yeah. First. That's a good idea. And, it, and assuming that sells, then you can just chuck all them on and then carry on as you were before, just to make sure, because we don't want to go through all of this to find out that there's a problem. And the one thing that I've, I've actually, it's, it's just occurred to me now, actually. Although it might not be that it. I, I, in one of my recent episodes, I had I had a mod conflict that I where I couldn't sell bales, and it took me just over four hours to locate the con the mod conflict, and I had to do this kind of mid episode. See, this was another reason why I got behind with this episode because I was almost finishing recording an episode, and I was finishing off with selling some silage bales, and I got to the side the sell point and I couldn't sell them. That's a pain. And I was that like. Is. I was like, what do you mean? They, they, they didn't drop off. As soon as you unstrap the bales off the trailer, they just go, boom, and they, they sell and they vanish and you make the money. Nothing sold. And I was like, what? And then, obviously, I said, you know, I was a bit frustrated, but trying to sound not frustrated as you're recording a clip, it was like, uh, I'll be back in a minute, everyone. And um, four and a bit hours later, Eight after... Eight years later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly that. Um, I... I had narrowed it down to uh, the mod that was causing it, and it's it's actually one that we've got in this game, the LSFM pack. Um, but, and this was the big but, it didn't make any sense to me because I have had the mod in the game forever. It was only when I bought something from that mod pack that I suddenly couldn't sell bales. Does that make sense? Mad. Yeah. So anyway... I can I yeah I can't believe that happened to you because that's what well, made it so unobvious because it wasn't a new mod that you've just put on. Yeah, that was the problem. It was yeah because 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 I knew I mean I, I've I've had mod conflicts before. I've you know it's usually it's like you'll you'll download a mod, you'll put the game on something will be untoward and won't be working again, and you'll be able to go, oh yeah well I've just installed this mod so let me remove that one and boom there the problem's fixed. This one. The mod pack had been... I've had the mod pack for a very, very long time. Yeah. And it was always a an installed active mod. But as soon as I purchased a wheelbarrow from that pack of mods, I suddenly couldn't sell bales. And it was like, what? Oh. There was no correlation between a wheelbarrow and bales to start off with, so I didn't put the, put, link the two together. Um, it was weird. It was very weird. But the main thing is I got it sorted, but honestly, it, it ruined my day because... I was hoping to get the video finished off, get it rendering and uh, get it uploaded that day and go and enjoy some time downstairs with uh, Mrs. Farmer Sim and put the telly on. No. Life life had other plans for me on that particular day. That is infuriating, um, but thankfully not today. No, I've just noticed we're at 38% now, aren't we? So um, better to be safe than sorry, though, mate. Oh, goodness, yes. Yes. Every so, day of the week. So we can... Um, we can get rid of all these bales to our heart's content. So we're at thirty-eight percent contract through now. There's a lot of bales in this field. I think we might be quids in by the end of this, you know. I think we will be quids in by the end of this one, you know. Yeah, I think we will. Um, yeah, I really do think we will. I tell you what, though, just so that we don't. Uh, miss the end for everybody because we're at 50 minutes now believe it or not should we get people Sh to come in afterwards yeah should we should we say a very temporary goodbye because it's going to take you much more than 10 minutes to pick up all these bales oh and take them over is. there so what we could do yeah we, we could we could essentially press stop on the recording now and come back in a few minutes time when we're when we've got all the money in or when we're just about to sell the last load of bales um yeah what do, what do you reckon Sounds perfect to me, my friend. All right, then. Right. So, ladies and gentlemen, we shall see you all very, very soon. Back Bye in a few. Now. Toodle pit. Hello, everyone. We're back. Welcome back, everybody. 
been a wee while, hasn't it, mate? We've had something of a bail nightmare. <laughs> well, we found an issue with yeah the one of the trailers that we have, and I I knew there was a problem because yeah. one of the episodes I just couldn't pick up the palettes from the yeah, trailer. It's, it's like this is a buggy trailer. It's the Eye for Williams trailer that we've got attached to the uh, Discovery, uh, for, for those of you wondering. Um, I, essentially, the way, the way it went down was we finished the grass work in the field, we got, all, got it all bailed up, and Mrs. SG was running back into to here to sell the bales. I went off and finished off the field rolling in the three fields that we drilled uh, in the last episode, um, which took minutes because they're relatively small areas of land. And I thought, Do you know what, mate, I'll come and help you, and we'll finish off the episode together over at the sell point with essentially two vehicles and two trailers worth of bales. So I jumped in the disco, put some bales into that Eiffel Williams trailer, and they started disappearing. On my, on my journey up here, I went, I had five bales on the trailer, and then all, all of a sudden three of them vanished, and we found them lying on the grass. And it was like, what's going on here? What's going on here? So essentially, to cut a long story short, Mrs. SG, uh, I abandoned the trailer and disco at the side of the road. Mrs. SG came and picked them up in the bale loader, the proper bale loader here. And so, essentially, we are here at the end of our journey, our bale nightmare. So far, we have made £11,506 from the residual bales. So uh, go ahead and sell these, mate. These five bales. And we'll be able to tell you exactly what we have made from res residual bales from this contract. Um, 4859 and 108. There we go. £16,473. Which wow. is actually... So 16473, I'm going to go into the contract menu now and turn it in. Uh, 16549. So almost exactly what we were going to be receiving for the doing the contract initially. So we've sixteen five four nine for the contract and, and sixteen four seven three. Oh mate, there we go, brilliant. So we've made we've made back the cost of the bale trailer that you have behind you, and the cost of the lime, which was only a couple of grand uh, from what well, that was the episode before last, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. The big the big field we had to lime, didn't we? Field number six. Yeah. Yeah, I think we bought somewhere about 18 or 20 bags of lime in total, wasn't it? Something like that. Yeah. Um, but there we go. <laughs> this is SG. <laughs> back to 200 grand. Out. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's quiet. There Look we go. That. Look at that beauty. I do love this tractor, I have to say. I do like a class, I must admit. There's one dotting around the village here where I live, actually. it's uh, It might actually be an Axiom. I should have. Uh, I should take note of it next time I see it. But yeah, it's a lovely thing when you see them in the flesh. But they yeah, are yeah. impressive. Yeah, yeah, they are. So, so yes, mate. Another, another day, another dollar. Another few dollars or pounds in this. Can this? Uh, so what's hang on? What's sixteen plus sixteen? Thirty-two. So just uh, just over thirty-three grand we've done today. That's good. That's that's Very... what I'd like to see. Yeah. We're smashing well, it. I'd like 33 grand in real life oh if I could. Oh my goodness, but, uh, that would change a lot of things. <laughs> I would pack my bags, go to the Maldives right now. Yeah, I know. Tell me about it. But another episode done, mate. Here we are. Awesome work. It's been a good day. It's been a Getting good day. Getting the contract done. It certainly has. So we've got all of our, our... The three fields that we created are fully drilled and rolled and fertilised and limed, so they're on their way. Um, I think next episode that we do is going to be deep in winter isn't it we're going to be essentially just topping up our cows with some food and maybe just earning some money from a contract or two because unless we fast forward the entirety of winter yeah well i think one of the things we get the coughs out put them in igloos and uh, then that's right that's right yes and then igloos. we'll skip the months yeah um just going through winter we probably do a whole episode just going through winter moving the calves and Sleep, skip, skip, yeah. skip, feed. Um, and that'll probably be an episode. No, I think you're right there, mate. Yeah, I'd forgotten about the igloos. Yeah, actually, that's a good idea. Yeah, we'll do some, uh, we'll do some igloo hunting off uh, off camera now. Get some, get some mods installed. See what we can get sorted there. Can't wait. It's um, going to be good fun. Yeah, man. Awesome work. Well, Loved it. as always, mate. Thank you very much. And Had so you. much fun. Yeah, awesome work. And thank you to everyone as well for watching. I hope you're still here. 
hope you've enjoyed the episode and found it a little bit of fun uh, and interesting and as always the youtube thing give us a like and, and a subscribe if you haven't already leave us a comment if uh, if you've got any suggestions for us we always love reading them don't we mate we do we really really do they do put a smile on our face so certainly do hit that link below and uh, make sure to follow each other's channels as well it really helps puts a smile on our face and we will see you next week we certainly will thanks for watching everyone thanks for your time see you in the next one bye bye, bye.